have no money, but you got, hey, hey, you got the honey. So uh, pour some in me cup, and I'm sure that we can come to some um, financial understanding about this here uh, rent. You're you hearing me? Did you forget how hard I smacked Dexter? Oh, yeah, blood, blood, blood. <laughs> Would you like me to jog your memory? Oh. Smack me once? Shame on you. <laughs> but smack me twice? And I go cut your husband a white dead smile. Grab my wrist again and I could cut you a reason why you never have to stand to use the toilet. Get out! You and your husband got to leave. By the end of this week, I not want to see you here no more. You hearing me? No, Dexter, you get out. This is my house, at least until the end of the week. So why don't you get to stepping? And go put some neosporin on that bruised eagle of yours. Who she thinks she's talking to? Hey, Donnell. Show my up right off top as usual. Who she to? <laughs> What's going on here? What a guan, brethren. I want your wrath out of my house. That's what a guan, brethren. What did you say? I think he said he's kicking our asses out. Oh, no, no, no. You don't got to kick us out, Dex. I got your money right here. It's too late. What? Your wife, she out him out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You ain't going to call my wife names now. Why not? She didn't call me names. I didn't call you any names. I just called you out. Ooh, listen here, brethren. <laughs> this woman of yours is your problem, not mine, you hear me? She very disrespectful. <laughs> and it's your disrespectful mouth. They're going to make me take my key back to my king or dog. <laughs> this ain't no kingdom. This place is one broken faucet away from section 8. Chandra. She's still a dog. She's still a dog. By the end of this week, me want you and all your stuff gone. You aim it? Gone. Except for that coffee table. Designers, you have 15 minutes. I think we can make this work. <laughs> Shut up! Is that man even Jamaican? You see what you just did, Sandra? What I did? What I did? New York is an expensive city. It don't get much better than this. <laughs> Oh, well, if this is the best that New York has to offer, then now I understand why the city gets so many tourists. Why is that? Because you're supposed to visit a zoo, not live in it. Real cute, Chandra, <laughs> but not cute enough to get us a new place to live. Well, I'll keep that in mind next time we get a landlord that propositions me sexually. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. Our now former landlord made more than one sexual pass at me. And he always manages to come on to me right before you come home and start kissing his butt. Please don't kick us out, Dexter. Please take my wife. What did you do when he tried to come on with you? Obviously, I didn't take him up on his offer because we still getting kicked out. But it's not too late, Donnell. I mean, if this shoebox is the best that it gets in New York, maybe I should just go and take one for the team. That's not even close to being funny, Sergeant. How come you didn't tell me you was trying to holler? Donnell, I try to tell you a lot of things. But we both know you only hear the things you want to talk about. You probably didn't tell me because you probably like the attention. <laughs> See what I mean? Bringing it back to what you want to talk about again. OK, so what if I am? Am I wrong, though? You like attention. That's why you keep uh, getting jealous when I'm talking to my neighbor. That's why you keep having conversations with my boy behind my back. <laughs> you need to get your head checked, Donnell. All the things you accuse me of are really your issues. You're the one that likes the attention. You're the one that likes to have conversations behind my back. You suffer from the classic cheetah mentality. You crap so much, you think everyone else is creeping just like you. And I'm supposed to be the one who wants to talk about what I want to talk about? What about you, Chandra? Every conversation we have goes back to a discussion about the mistakes I made in the past. For me to let go of mistakes in your past, I need to know you're not going to make those same mistakes again. And so far, I ain't convinced. You ain't never going to be convinced. And you ain't never going to look like Tyson Bedford, but that don't mean you shouldn't go to the gym. What? Step your game up, Donnell. Make me believe you deserve my trust. No, you step your game up, Chandra. Make me believe that you're not so full of revenge that you won't allow yourself to trust. I'm full of disappointment, not revenge. I'll let that suck out before it fills to the top. Before I get full of revenge, you'll get full of slap marks. Is this what our relationship has become? Is it? You constantly throwing physical threats and accusations? Is this what our relationship has become? 
You tell me, player. Oh. Well, the word on the street is you a player too, Sandra. Except the female word for a player is spelled with an H. <laughs> oh, I know you ain't almost called me a hoe. Yeah, well, in case you didn't know, Mike told me how you used to have a thing with him before you met me. Whoa, 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 hold on. He told you what? If I have to repeat exactly what that boy said, I can't promise I'll be able to hold back my temper. <laughs> oh, that hold back your temper line was hilarious. It's a shame I'm too angry to laugh. Donnell, it's never ever involved with Mike. Can't believe you got the nerve to stand in and accuse me of a bold-faced lie. Sandra, look me in the eye and tell me you never had a thing with Mike. Can't believe this. See, you can't even do it. Donnell, I never had a thing with Mike. And by thing, I mean sex. No way. What about kissing? Uh -uh. Dinner and a movie. I thought by thing you meant sex. Y'all dating? We did not date. Oh, we went on a date. One date. It was after the first time we met. No, no big deal. No big deal? Oh, no, no, this deal is big. This deal is bigger than, than Swap Me Prices or Rodeo Drive. Oh, damn, that's a big deal. Yeah, you got that right. I can't believe you you walk around all this house and I tell me you dated my homeboy. I didn't want you to get suspicious. I didn't even know you did. I mean, how was I supposed to know we were going to be a couple if I never even met you, you know? No, Sandra, I don't know. I don't know how you can walk around this house with all the questions and all the answers, but have no answers to none of my questions. Look here, boy. I'm not the one who cheated. I'm not the one who stepped out on their vows with hoes from the booty club. Actually, the technical term is titty bar. Got some nerve getting mad about me going out with your homeboy long, long before I even met you. What? Do you know any of them stripper chicks I crept with? Nope, and neither did they fathers. Look, Mike is a person I grew up with. A person who claimed to be my friend, but ended up being my greatest enemy. I told you everything that was going on, and you just sat there, stone-faced, like you had nothing to do with it. No, Sandra, you didn't lie with words. You lied with your face. And you lie with your crotch. So I guess we're even. I can't even look at you the same. I put you up on a pedestal, you just fell from grace. Oh, so now I got some grace to fall from. Well, if that fake little pedestal was grace, then I should have fell off of that a long time ago. Since I'm now free to walk without being tied down to your pedestal, maybe I should call up your boy Mike and finish what we started long before I met Donnell, the trifle and insecure. <laughs> Donnell! Donnell! Sorry. How did you get in here? Look at me, Donnell. Ugh. You have a sexy, seductive secretary sitting in the middle of your office, ready for whatever. And all you can say is, how'd you get in here? Nah, nah, nah I, got, I got more to say. Like, um, uh, it's, it's midnight and I came, right? Not yet. Ooh, you are something else. <laughs> well, everybody wants something else, right or wrong. You right. <laughs> so, how's the wife? Oh, you think you're being funny right now? <laughs> just, just, Donnell, you're so sensitive. See, if you know that, why are you trying to push my buttons? If I don't push the button, then how will I go down? <laughs> I know. I'll... Just take the staircase. Look, look, look. Can we, can we just talk for a minute? Is this where you tell me you have a little secret? Ain't nothing little about my secret. 
Oh. So you have a big secret. Well, I don't want to hear about any of your big Look, secrets. Look, woman, I don't have any secrets, all right? No, no, none more than anybody else. That's good to know. Now, can we move on to the loving? Listen, look, can, um, I wasn't going to come here, but me and my wife just had a big argument, and I just kind of lost it, you know? You and Chandra have to move on. It's not working out. It's time to try something different. Or at least get her back for playing you. Playing me how? I don't know how much she's told you, and I don't know how much Mike has revealed, but the two of them have been getting it on. Getting what on? Doing the do. What kind of do? Mountain do, boy. What kind of do you think? Well, how you, how you know what's going on? Your office walls are thin. I can hear everything that goes on in between them. You sound just like my neighbor. Wait, you can hear everything? Uh-huh. I even hear you trying to hit those R&B high notes you got no business trying to hit. I know, woman. I can sing. I'll be killing them in the karaoke. Never mind all that. What's this business with Mike and my woman? Like I said, the two of them got a love thing going on. They be getting on in the office real nasty, like, ooh, daddy, do it, daddy. You heard Chandra calling daddy in my office? No, I heard Mike calling Chandra daddy in your office. It sounds like she was really putting it on, too. I'm going to kill him. I got a better idea. Why don't you get them back? About working my back. I can't think about that right now. You can't think about that right now. What man can't think about this right now? You know what you just told me? You told me my wife was sleeping around with me in my, in my office. I can't feel my legs. No, you can't feel your spine. What? Grab her pair of balls, Donnell. Oh, I know you didn't just. Yeah, right, I just did. This wife of yours violates your trust in your office on top of your desk. This one. And all you can say is, I can't feel my legs right now. Guess what, Donnell? The way it sounded in your office, your wife couldn't feel her legs either. Ah! What's this? I don't know. That was there when I got here. That was what? You think I forget about setting up a camera in my own office, turning it on, and then hiding it under that old fake looking hideout? Sure. Why not? Woman, you better start talking. Oh, so now Donnell grows a pair. You're going to grow a pair of black eyes if you don't start explaining this. Violence against women is never acceptable, Donnell. Oh, yeah? Well, I thought you liked it rough. <laughs> Only when I'm on all four. I hear that. Hold on, you think I'm not gullible? Yep. Linda Weiss just came in my office. You better start talking right now! Mike made me do it, okay? What did you just say? Mike made me do it. He has it in for you. What, 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 does he, what, what, what does he have in for me? What, what is this thing he set up? Look, Mike's plan was for me to get close to you. His plan was for me to get you to cheat. And since you didn't, he went with plan B. The morning after pill? No, fool manipulation. So, so the whole threat about ruining my marriage and whatnot, that was just a plot by Mike? You got it. And he was the one who set up this fake camera to try to catch me in the act, to send clips of it to my wife. Yep, yep. He was going to make a music video and everything with background singers and stuff. A two-faced rat. You're right. Believe it, Mike is something else. How do you know I was talking about Mike? Donnell, I had to do it. I didn't have a choice. Don't give me that you were forced to do a rap. I was. He has something on me. Spare me the bull. The only thing that fool had on you was his semen, you low-life hooker. Exactly. Donnell, I loved Mike. He used my love and got me high on something I don't know what. Had me do a bunch of nasty stuff with some men who used to work here. 